Hello everyone. Today's math challenge is based on the question that you can see on your screen. On a farm, there are some cows and hens. Their total number of legs is 170 and the total number of heads is 65. Find the number of cows. So friends, on the face of it, it looks like a pretty simple question. Probably many 8th graders can also solve it easily using the traditional approach of formulating and solving linear equations. But wouldn't it be nice if we could solve such questions orally without even picking up a pen or pencil? You heard me right. Today I'm going to show you a unique method of how to solve such problems orally within seconds. This method called the method of substitution applies to many similar problems that I have given as additional practice within this video to master this approach. But let us discuss the conventional method first. So this is the question and usually how do we go about solving such questions? Well, we look at the objective first. Find the number of cows. Since it's an unknown number, we take a variable for this number. Let us suppose the number of cows is C. Again, since we don't know how many hens are there, we take another variable for the number of hens, say H. Now looking at the question, there are two conditions given. Number of heads and number of legs. So our next step should be to express the number of heads in terms of these two variables, which are C and H and also to express the number of legs in terms of these two variables. Now think, each animal has only one head, isn't it? So total number of heads for all the cows will be the same as the number of cows, that is C. And total number of heads for all the hens will be the same as the number of hens, that is H. Talking about the number of legs, each cow has how many legs? The answer is four legs for each cow. So total number of legs of all the cows put together is four times the number of cows. That would be four into C. Similarly, each hen has how many legs? Only two legs for each hen. So total number of legs of all the hens put together is two times the number of hens. That would be two into H. Now we can comfortably write equations on the given two conditions. Condition number one is number of legs is 170. So adding up the number of legs for cows and hens, we have 4C plus 2H. This is equal to 170. Condition number two is number of heads is 65. So total number of heads of cows and hens is C plus H which is equal to 65. Now, we have to just solve these two equations together and find the value of C, which stands for the number of cows. Look at the equations carefully. A simple way to equate the coefficients of any one variable would be to divide the first equation by 2 on both sides. Let us do that and we get 2C plus H is equal to 85. Next, we have to just subtract these two equations together to eliminate H and find the value of C. C is equal to 85 minus 65, which in turn is equal to 20. So friends, that's our answer. The total number of cows is 20. And we can very well stop at this step. But let us find the value of the other variable h. Putting c is equal to 20 in equation number 2, we get 20 plus h is equal to 65. Therefore, the number of hens h is equal to 45. Now let us move on to our second method, which is an extremely neat and efficient method to find our solution orally. You only have to learn how to apply it and practice it for three, four more questions. So friends, before I discuss this new method called the method of substitution, here is a list of some other good questions on which you can practice this. Each of these questions can also be solved using the tra traditional approach of solving linear equations. 
So I strongly urge you to return to this screen once you finish this video lesson and try out the new method for each of these questions. And do post your answers in the comments box below. Of course, you need not worry if you're finding it difficult to apply the new method. I will address all your queries. Now this new method works for all questions where variables are countable, that is integers. We take the simpler condition as the guiding one. For the first question, it is the total number of coins is 90. For the second question, the guiding condition is the head count is 60. And for the third question, we go by the condition that there are 100 questions and the candidate attempted all of them. Let us look at our original question. The guiding condition is the number of heads which is given to be 65. Now obviously the number of animals would range from 0 to 65. The number of cows for instance could be 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 so on up till 65. And ditto for the number of hen. The number of hen would lie between 0 to 65. So let us suppose in the beginning all animals were hen. Since the head count is 65, that means all 65 hen and 0 cows. Because each hen has 2 legs, number of legs would have been 65 into 2, that is 130. But the number of legs are given to be 170. It means 170 minus 130, that is 40 legs are extra. Now let us substitute a hen from the farm with a cow. With the two legs of hen gone and the four legs of the cow added, there is a net increase of how many legs? Two legs. So in order to increase the 40 legs that are extra, how many substitutions do you need? That would be 40 divided by two legs per substitution. This is equal to 20. We simply need to substitute 20 hens by 20 cows to fulfill this condition of 170 legs. And that is our answer. After 20 substitutions, there are 20 cows in the farm. So guys, this is one method I particularly like because we can work out the solution orally without even picking up a pen. And obviously, no writing means you save on a lot of your precious time during exams. Many of you might be wondering, what if we started with cows? We can do that and we will get our answer equally easily. Let's try out. If we suppose in the beginning all 65 heads were cows, that means there should have been 65 into 4, that is 260 legs. But in the question, they have given us 170 legs. And this means we need to reduce the difference of 260 and 170, that is 90 legs. In the given farm, whenever we substitute a cow by a hen, we decrease a net of 2 legs. So in order to decrease 90 legs, we need 90 upon 2, that is 45 substitutions. In the beginning, we had assumed 65 cows. After 45 substitutions, there would be 65 minus 45. That is 20 cows and that is our answer. I'm sure many of you like this method over the conventional method of forming and solving linear equations. That brings us to an end of this video lesson. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, don't forget to press the like button and also do subscribe our channel IPM Leap. Here is a glimpse of other popular math videos on our channel. So keep watching and bye bye.